All right, guys, this is Oklahoma KLR here with a uh, product review of the uh, Trackside aluminum handguard kit, uh, usually sold at Cycle Gear. Purchased this kit for uh, $44 on sale, and it's regularly $89. Um, I'm going to start with some pros and cons on this kit. Uh, some pros start off with it's priced pretty good at $44. Um, you're not really going to find um, another full wrap kit, you know, with the full wrap around aluminum, uh, with the uh, with the plastic guards, um, for that kind of money. Um, there's lots of adjustability in this. We've got a on the, right here. There's a uh, there's a bracket here. You loosen up this this screw here, and uh, it can adjust. Uh, for the different contours of the bars and then on this bolt here there's a slider so if you have a, an area on your bars where you can't mount this you can slide it up and down about a half inch um, they look pretty good I mean they come with these stickers on them it's removable also um, the powder coat on them is pretty nice um, all in all they're a pretty nice handguard um, I like the removable shield I've never taken them off but with three screws, you could remove them, um, and they're priced great. That's that's about your all your pros on this one. Now cons, and it's got a few. These, uh, you know, they're made to a price point, so uh, fit and finish may not be the greatest. Uh, I noticed these screws are starting to rust on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see us inside here, um, but the screws are starting to rust, and I'm guessing those are just zinc plated may need to be replaced eventually. Um, now, one thing about them is, depending on which bars you're going to put them on, I have these on the factory steel bars, which are 7 8 If you have aluminum bars, the inside diameter is slightly smaller. Steel bars have a slightly larger diameter because the, the tubing's thinner. Well, these guards would work great on aluminum bars because the, the uh, the piece that goes inside the end of the bars is, is too small to grip right on the thinner tubing because it's, it's a larger hole, right? So I used a piece of clear tubing. I slid it over it, put it in there, tightened up. It works fine. Um, but you know that could be a problem for somebody if they didn't if they didn't have that laying around. Um, the hardware, like I said, is rusting. You know, uh, is that a deal breaker? No. Uh, but something to consider you know if if uh, money's not an object uh, there's better options out there I think highway dirt bike bars has a great setup with a full wrap that comes all the way around and and uh, connects to the uh, uh, to where the bars are mounted uh, I think it's a lot better system than this uh, but you're you're looking at three times as the price as these maybe more um, moose Moose makes a, a good kit just like these, um, but it's a little more. Uh, I think you're going to spend the same amount of money as you would on these for just the aluminum wrap without the adjustability. Uh, then you got Acer Abyss, which ha come with guards usually, but they're a lot thinner. And I didn't like how thin they were. I didn't feel like they'd really protect from uh, gravel, dirt, or, or uh, even just wind and, and snow or uh, ice and rain, whatever you whatever you're driving into. Um, but overall, I think they're a really good, cheap option. <laughs> Not sure if you can see the mounting here. Uh, they've got a little bit of adjustability here, right where it clamps out of the bars. Um, like I said, some bit of slide here. This pivots, and then full wraps to uh, a piece that goes in the bars, and you tighten it up, and it expands to the edge of the bars. Um, I would say, if if money is an issue, these are a great option. If money's not an issue, I'd go something like the Highway Dirt Bike Bars. Um, they work good. One thing I will say is before you install these, make sure you use a Loctite. Uh, I, I thought I did when I put them on the first time and I've already had one come loose. Um, make sure and test fit them before, you're, uh, before you run to the hardware store. See if you need to get some tubing or something to go over the, uh, the expansion piece here. And it should be pretty simple. 44.95, uh, I believe, is what I spent. 
I would probably not pay full price for these. Uh, I would suggest if you can get them under $50, I would do it. But uh, if you had to spend over $50, I definitely would not do it. I've had the Moose on two other bikes. Now I've had these on this bike. And uh, I have to say, I like these better than just the single bar because of the hand guards. Um, but I think the Mooses are probably a little bit better because they don't have this adjustment point here. So there you go. There's your quick review of the trackside uh, aluminum hand guards. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. And uh, make sure and subscribe. We've got some more product reviews coming up. Thanks for your time.